1408, 2093. Patient, 279. Assessor, Shepherd. Good evening, Technomancer. I'm Shepherd. I'll be in charge of your empowerment assessment today. I apologise for any strange sounds you may hear. We have had some new clients recently, and they aren't settling so well. Look, I can already see that you don't want to be here. I'll try to make this quick. Yes, let's get started, shall we? For our first test, I would like you to transfer the power from this battery to this one. Why? This is to gauge your abilities. See what you can do and how your power works. It's all protocol. There. You may put your hands on them. If you don't, I will let the police decide what happens to you. You're here for a reason, and I'm only doing my job. If you're done asking me questions, I'd like for you to proceed with the task. Hmm, very good. Impressive control. Not that it's a surprise after seeing your file. That was faster than I expected, and it's almost full. Great job. For test number two, I'll need to get something from the other room. I hope I can trust you to remain seated and wait for me to return. Glad to see you can follow those simple instructions without a hitch. Now, for the next test, we will... I'd ask you to refrain from messing with our equipment. The microphones and cameras are expensive. Damaging them will just mean extending your stay with us. And you wouldn't want that, would you? Now, our agents brought you in by force. This isn't necessarily our usual method. We use it when we need to, like your case. Using your powers to commit crimes puts you in our care. Oh, this test will be right up your alley. I'd like you to hack this computer. Remove all the security on it to get full access. Sounds easy. There's a catch. You have to stay where you are. I want you to hack this without touching it. Can you do that? Then go right ahead. Took you a few tries, but you did it. How does distance affect your hacking? The code feels fuzzier, as if you can't see the solution as clearly. Hmm, that makes sense. Useful to know. No. We aren't done yet. Sit down. Until the testing is over, you have to stay here. We have to assess all empowered people for the safety of civilians. I'm sure you can understand. Now sit still unless told to do otherwise. I have a few questions to ask about your power. When did your power first appear? 
several years ago. Could you be more specific? A year, a month. Did anything happen around this time that could have caused this? You don't want to answer me. Mm. A major life event. No. An incident, maybe. Your reaction tells me that's a yes. I understand you're upset, but these are necessary questions, and you were the one to get yourself arrested, no? Right. Is anyone else in your family empowered? Silence. That's a yes. If there's another empowered person that we haven't tested, we need to know. There's no one on our system matching your name, which means you have some info that we'd like from you. Oh, come on. You can tell me. I can tell that you care about whoever this person is. We can help them. You take care of them. A sibling, perhaps? You know, if you need help, we can provide that. <laughs> you don't need our help. I wondered if maybe the reason for your crimes could be to do with your sibling. You needed money. So, you have nobody else to support you and your sibling? Yes, we can move on from this. How would you say the control of your power is? Does it activate on its own sometimes? Not very often. What triggers this? Emotions. That's often the case. Any emotions in particular? Anger. I see. Last question. Your file hasn't had an address update in quite a while, and the one given is not your home. So, where have you been staying? You refuse to say. Well, we have staff who can find out. Forcefully. I can tell you from experience, having your mind searched is not a pleasant feeling. You can avoid it by just telling me where you've been living. Unfortunately, we don't have any empowered staff who can track locations or objects. Just people. With you here, there's only two options. You give the information willingly, or not. It's entirely up to you. Technomancer. Thank you for cooperating with me. That's all we need from you unless the authorities send you back to us. When we bring your sibling in for testing... Yes, your sibling. They're not registered on our system. They need to be tested. We won't hurt them. I'm sorry, but leaving them alone isn't an option here. With your reckless actions, we have no idea how your sibling may be. We can't risk them following in your footsteps with an unknown power. <laughs> Calm yourself! Uh, 
I'll need to, I need to get security in room 511. Quickly.